Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Palantir Technology stock news regarding Palantir's PLTR stock. We will start off by talking about Palantir's new collaboration with Wajou, which could lead to Palantir Technologies eventually interpreting the data for smart cities. Next, we will perform some PLTR stock analysis to demonstrate why the PLTR stock price has surged up recently, then we will compare Palantir stock to their competitors, and then lastly, we will go over the new PLTR stock price targets by analysts. Go and smash the like button right now for more Palantir stock news. Comment your thoughts down below on how much Palantir stock should be worth by the end of the year. Subscribe and turn on all notifications to stay informed. And now let's get right into today's stories. If you don't know, Wajo is a global leader in vehicle data and Palantir has recently entered into a new partnership agreement with them to use their data to solve problems, which include reducing emissions, improving the vehicle's safety, and to help design smart cities. Together, Palantir and Wajo will create an atmosphere of vehicle data interpretation for decision making that will be unmatched. Currently, Wajo is not a publicly traded company, but instead you can still invest into them because they are about to merge with Virtuoso Acquisition Corporation, ticker symbol VOSO. So if you want to invest into them, make sure you do your own research. The Executive Vice President of Strategy and Innovation at Wajo had this to say about their partnership with Palantir, and I quote, The partnership between Wajo and Palantir is ultimately about delivering on the promise of connected vehicle data to improve the way we live, work, and travel for the better. It's about putting our data for good products and services to work and making a safer and better transportation experience. The partnership is accelerating the invaluable connected vehicle data insights we can give. End quote. This is going to be a very useful and strong partnership for Palantir, so it's always good to hear that Palantir is continuously signing new partnership agreements with such innovative companies. According to the article, vehicle data is extremely underutilized, but if it's interpreted correctly, this data can be turned into intelligence and then information, which can be used to address various problems. And Wajo has loads of data for Palantir to interpret. For instance, Wajo collects more than 16 billion data points per day, spanning a network of 11 million active vehicles. In total, Wajo has gathered close to 10 trillion data points from 48 billion car rides, so this partnership will give Palantir loads of data and insights that can benefit the entire world, both Wajo, the whole automotive industry, autonomous driving, smart city infrastructure, and it can even help form regulations. The head of global commercial at Palantir had this to say about the Wajo partnership, and I quote, Wajo is SaaS for the real world. Therefore, it must account for the complexity of the real world with a massive connected vehicle data asset. In this scenario, a cloud is not enough. Vast amounts of data require the robust integrated infrastructure Foundry provides in order to deliver new solutions, opportunities, and accelerated growth. End quote. And because this is not a government contract or partnership, Palantir will be using their Foundry platform as mentioned in the quote and not their Gotham platform. Now, if you want more information on Wajo, if you buy ticker symbol VOSO, you will own Wajo shares once it's listed on the open market later this year. Wajo is no small potatoes either, because they already have a large existing partnerships with giant companies like Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT, and even General Motors, ticker symbol GM. They even have partnerships with 17 automotive original equipment manufacturers, so it may be good to at least put this stock on a watch list. But back to Palantir, what is very exciting is that this partnership opens the door for Palantir, and it looks like investors loved this collaboration because the PLTR stock price bursted through its resistance at $27.50 to where now it trades at around $28.60. Right now, the PLTR stock has a composite rating of 73, an EPS rating of 65, and a relative strength rating of 92, which are all pretty good. Plus, the implied volatility on PLTR is 44%, which is the lowest that it's been in 12 months, which makes it a great option for options trading right now. The stock has broken out of an ascending triangle pattern and now the support is $27.50, but the bigger support lies at $25. The stock currently trades above the 
50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average and these averages are shown on screen in the color blue and green respectively because the PLTR stock is trading above these averages this shows a very bullish sentiment also these averages hold areas of support so if the stock ever tries to dip below these levels it's going to have a harder time due to the volume but the best news in my opinion is that there are more buyers than sellers for the stock the PLTR stock has increased around 5.69% recently, and it has outpaced both the S&P 500 index as well as the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Also, Palantir has surged higher than its competitors, such as Tyler Technologies, Cognizant Technology Solutions, and Verant Systems. So in the past few weeks, Palantir stock has been performing very well thanks to the plethora of partners, collaborations, and contracts that the company has impressively landed and or gotten. According to six analysts on tip ranks, one analyst says that Palantir is a clear buy, two analysts say to hold the stock, and three analysts actually say to sell the stock. Out of all of these analysts, the average PLTR stock price target is $24 a share, which actually is 16.22% downside from its current price. However, the high-end price target for Palantir Technology stock is $31, which is actually pretty good but I personally think it's going to be way greater than that in one to two years from now. Palantir is not just a great company due to its products and services that it provides, but it's also a great company because of how the business is ran. We also have to remember that Palantir is involved in AI technology and big data, and according to a British mathematician, he says this and I quote, Data is the new oil. It's valuable, but if it's unrefined, it cannot really be used. It has to be changed into gas, plastic, chemicals, etc. to create a valuable entity that drives profitable activity. End quote. And I currently agree with this mathematician. For instance, he said this before Apple had even launched their first iPhone, before Amazon launched their web services, and of course before Tesla sold their first Model S. One of the reasons why data is such a lucrative market is because it grows extremely fast. For instance, the article says that around 90% of the world's data was created within the last two years because data grows on an exponential basis. But the best part for big data companies is because as data is rapidly multiplying, there aren't many data interpreting tools and there's not a lot of way to capture all of this data if you don't have the right technology. The mathematician goes on to say roughly 80 to 90 percent of the world's data is unstructured, which means that it's unrefined and that means it needs to be interpreted. That data needs to be interpreted so it can become valuable. Not to mention, the overall market for data is huge. The global market opportunity for data right now is around $200 billion, and in the future, over the next five years, it's predicted and forecasted to be $450 billion. This growth rate of both data and the demand for data interpretation has increased exponentially, which is clearly reflected in Palantir's financial reports. Their government revenue grew by 66% year over year, and their total revenue increased by 44%, but even though its government revenues are growing extremely fast, it's their commercial revenues that are actually going to be its long-term moneymaker. Not to mention, Palantir is literally buying revenues because they spent around $250 million on 10 different innovative companies that each signed contracts with Palantir, which in total gave them returns of $428 million over the span of around 5 to 6 years. And besides that, their actual stock investment into these companies will appreciate as time progresses, so Palantir is spending money and instantly getting a return on investment from it. Also, Palantir's revenues from their top 20 customers grew by 36% year over year on average, and each of these customers spend on average of around $39 million each, and this will help Palantir to achieve profitability as time goes on. According to traditional metrics, Palantir is trading at a premium because their price to sales ratio is 28, and we know this because we can calculate this number by multiplying 1.5 billion times 28, which would put us very close to their market cap. However, I think because Palantir has a 30% revenue growth rate over the next four years, that is more than enough evidence to buy at a premium now and hold long term. So in the long term, once the stock appreciates to very high levels, it's going to look like you got the stock for very cheap. 
But what do you all think? Comment your average PLTR stock price down below, turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed, and like this video if you made it all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next YT video.